Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 15 of my Men 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be spraying all the upper wing surfaces khaki. I do this by spraying the same way the air flows over the wing unless I do the leading edges. I never go across. And I also start with the ribs as they're going to be darker. So, without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we have the upper wing surfaces done. Plenty of tonal variation there, so happy with that. Now for the bloody yellow. More sanding, more blending, and probably more spraying. Still not happy with this, especially on the fuselage here, so let's crack on with that. Looks like I've got away with not having to spray yellow again. Now that was lucky. Now time to remove the masking tape and see what this looks like. Oh, that's looking good. Nice crisp lines there. A little sanding, then we can remask and prep it ready for some khaki paint. So here goes. the rear end mast. Now for the rest of the fuselage. There we have the fuselage masked up, so it's now time to spray it khaki. Here we go. That's 
the khaki sprayed on the fuselage. Now to unmask it and see how it's done. Well, I'm suddenly happy with how that looks and how it's turned out nice and crisp. Enough. Now to dry fit the mid wing and the gun mounts slash top engine cowl. Ready for the striping I'm going to be doing. Now that's dry fitted, we can crack on with those streaking effects. I'm doing this using Winter and Newton oil paints, sap green and raw umber, 50-50 mix, diluted with white spirits, that's mineral spirits to our cousins across the pond, then applied with a wide stiff brush to create those nice lovely streaks. So here goes nothing. Initially, we'll stipple it on, then brush it back and forwards until the part is covered in the oil paint. Once we've done this, then we can brush it in the correct direction. When doing this, make sure the brush strokes go the whole way across the model part. Don't stop halfway or just short to the end. Start the stroke before the part and finish it after, just like this. If you need to add more oil mix, don't be afraid to, we need to have these streaks really defined. Here's a good example of the brush strokes that I'm talking about, the whole part of the model. There we have the streaking effect done. Not too difficult at all. Just the drying time is long. About five days. Now it's time to move on to the prop. So let's get that sorted. There's the first coat for the prop. Now to move on to the guns and a dry brush of light grey. So here we go. Dry brushing done. 
now for the ammo belts. That's the ammo belts painted a sand colour. Next it's time to do the wheels. Here I'm painting them khaki. I was still following the destructions but didn't realise they were yellow, not khaki. We'll rectify that later. Yep, I sprayed one of the wrong wheels. You get a choice of two, so I mixed up and got one of each. Oh well, let's get the proper one off and get that sorted. There we go, there's the correct wheel, ready and prime, I think. Anyway, let's get our replacement rudder primed and ready. Here we go. There we go, that's the rudder and the wheel done. I gave the wheel a second coat of primer. Now to zap our rudder with a coat of white. Here we go. Oops. Too bloody heavy handed on the white, as usual. Clean it off with a cotton bud, crack on. There we have the white done on the rudder. We'll pop that there to dry. Now for the tyre. As usual, I'm using XF85 Rubber Black from Tamiya. That's the tyre done. Now for the brown on the prop. I'm using Tamiya's XF9 Red Brown for this. Still following the destructions, it shows a solid coloured prop. Need to check this out as well. Prop done. Guess you just found the zoom in on the app. Ooh, I like this. Hopefully you will too. Anyway, I also did the leather bit that stops you smashing your head on the guns. Now we're going to redo the olive drab, not khaki as I said before, on the wheels. Let's get that cracked. There we have the wheels done. Now to move on to that pesky rudder. Let's give it a quick clean up, then another coat of white. Here we go. So there's the rudder done. Guess what? Yep, more yellow. Here we go. There we have the struts done in more yellow. Anywho, this seems like as good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 15. If you want to see what happens in episode 16, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. 
Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.